Go. Well, Alan, I'm at the uh, King David Hotel in Jerusalem, and uh, this is about my fifth trip here since uh, December of last year. There have been some extraordinary things happening, as you well know, things that I think uh, are significant for uh, Israel and for the relationship that Israel has with uh, the United States. Obviously the moving of the embassy. You and I were both here for that momentous moment and it was surreal. Uh, but I also think it's opened a whole new chapter for the Middle East and it's given uh, a new hope and a new platform uh, to build upon. Totally opposite the thinking of many people who thought that it would bring disruption to the Middle East. On the other hand, it's really kind of settled the issue of Jerusalem and it's made it very clear that Jerusalem is not going to be a divided city. It will be the ancestral, indigenous, and uh, historical uh, capital of the Jewish state. And I think that's an important thing to settle. Um, I would love to get your comments on if you think that the move by the president after all these years of promise is finally getting to the point of bringing the embassy home to uh, Jerusalem has proven to be uh, a good thing. And then on a personal note, um, I'd love to get your thoughts, Alan, on uh, what can be done to help restore some civility to the political climate of the U.S. I'm watching it with my own daughter, thrown out of a restaurant in Virginia, not because of something she did or said or because she acted up or behaved improperly, but simply because she went there to eat and she worked for Donald Trump and that was unacceptable to the owner. And I know you're experiencing some of this, uh, even at Martha's Vineyard, a place you've been to many, many times, and yet now a uh, completely different atmosphere. So would love to hear your thoughts on how to return some level of civility back to uh, our political climate and, and just bring a simple sense of manners back.